ladies and gentlemen, this contest is set for one fall. It is an opening round match of the Spirit Title Tournament. Introducing first to my right, fighting out of the Unseen Woods, this is Hanaya the Howling Huntress. And her opponent to my left, fighting out of Blackwood, New Jersey, Brittany Blake. Well, earlier we were talking about how most some of these women wouldn't have a shot at the Spirit Championship. Had an event not gone down with an injury. Oh man, Hanaya viciously assaulting Brittany Blake to kick off this match up here. And you want to talk about seeding in a tournament, I believe this will be one versus eight if you look at it logically. Brittany Blake would definitely not be in line for a Spirit Championship shot, and she gets put against the toughest competition she's faced in her short career, her short career that hopefully ends tonight, courtesy of the Howling Huntress. Well, the way we saw the Howling Huntress kick off this tournament, I would not want to be Brittany Blake at the moment. I never would. More so today than ever. She's dealing with a very violent Howling Huntress tonight. There's the speed of Blake. At least, at least able to avoid the onslaught from the Huntress. There's an Oklahoma roll, too, to follow it up. Only getting a two count. That's what Brittany Blake has to do. She has to use the Little Mac strategy, stick and move. You're absolutely right. Well, she has, has gone on in Dojo Wars. It's a very different environment, though. Variation of a stun gun hot shot by Hanaya the Howling Huntress bringing Brittany Blake throat first across that top rope. As I was saying, Brittany Blake is considered the toughest of the CZW WSU Academy students, actually taking most of her training up while having a broken leg. And right now, though, it's not looking too good for Brittany Blake as Hanaya goes for the pinfall but only getting a two count. Anaya, though, she's just stalking Brittany Blake right now, letting her get to her feet so she can inflict more punish, do more, do more damage. That might not be smart, because a person like Brittany Blake, who has really nothing to lose if you think about it, you know, letting her get a little breath, this is her biggest break in her career. You oh, have well, to she's not letting her get any breath right there, so maybe Hanaya heard you. Brittany Blake, though, not, not backing down. You know, arguing with the referee and giving Brittany Blake just enough time to come up with a forearm shiver, but the shots no avail yeah. as Hanaya has her back to that corner once again with those educated feet. Hanaya staying on top of Brittany Blake. Hanaya is in a very determined mood. The biggest match of her career back at the eighth anniversary she was defeated in. She thought that was going to be a career defining moment. And right now, Brittany Blake having her looks rearranged thanks to Hanaya bashing her face into that second turnbuckle. Just placing her on the shoulders, dropping her back with an electric chair drop variation. And look at Hanaya, too busy showboating, going in for that cover, slowly hooking the leg, and that might have cost her right there. It's Brittany Blake able to get that shoulder up. Hey, Hanaya wants everyone to know how good she is. She's not afraid to brag about it either. Her body language, just walking to the ring both times tonight, tells you everything you need to know about how she feels about her skills and how everyone else should view her. Oh, oh man! God, what a vicious drop kick. That was fierce. The howl that used to be met with cheers is met with the exact opposite this afternoon. You're absolutely right. You know, most people would respect and I. It was just the way that, that that evening concluded at the eighth anniversary really soured many people on Hanaya the Howling Huntress. What was there to be sour about? It was an excellent matchup. Yeah, but you know, she could have been a more good sport like she used to be. Could have been, but where would it have gotten her? Well, right now, Brittany Blake being tossed into the corner. Hanaya taking way too much time howling to the moon there. And there's Brittany Blake taking that opening with those shoulder blocks into the midsection, following up with a bulldog. Oh, look at this. Go for it. Tequila Sunrise. Shades of K Dog. Hanaya, though, dead center in the ring. This is exactly what Brittany Blake needed to do. No one expects this from Brittany Blake. She is not known as a submission competitor looking to get a, a submission victory here, but to no avail as Hanaya almost illegally breaking the hold, pulling the hair of Brittany Blake. Hanaya, though, letting these fans get it under her skin. Yeah, and that's the problem right here. And Brittany Blake. 
turn it around. Straight shot right to the chin. Oh, oh God. yeah, but there's a real shot right to the chin. Brittany Blake hasn't been able to get any sustained offense. Absolutely right, but look at Hanaya letting the crowd dictate her match. Well, she might as well let them dictate it because Brittany Blake, it's not a knock on her. She's just not at the skill level of Hanaya and just she's still, yet. She's still, oh man, she's still very inexperienced. But you know what? Sometimes an opportunity like this changes something for a competitor, changes the way they look and, and they act in a ring. But right now, Hanaya oh. dropping her down on the back of her head, slowly getting to a cover once again. Oh, come on now. Hey, this is the new Hanaya. This is the Hanaya that... Yeah, but when the Spirit Championship's on the line... Hanaya was driven over the edge. She didn't want to act like this. If you want a championship victory, you go for the pinfall, you take the pinfall. It was that career setback that made her realize exactly what she should be focusing on. She shouldn't worry about any of the fan response. She shouldn't worry about any of that. She should only be focused on winning championships and winning matches and advancing her career and knocking out Brittany Blake. Well, this could be it here. Cover again. Once again, though, Blake able to kick out. Like I said, Brittany Blake has been considered the toughest of her graduating class at the CZW Academy. Yeah, but look at this. Dan Yost laid his hands on one of, one of the participants. Well, I don't know if you've been following the, uh, us on social media and Instagram. Oh, like, look at this. Oh, wait a second. We got a roll up here. Two and three. She what? did it. Blake did it. This is. person to make it into the semifinals. The most Just unlikable person to make it into the semifinals. Why is everyone cheering for this? We had a great competitor like Hanaya, a true main event level performer. Well, the problem is Hanaya was viewed actually verbally assaulting Dan Yost in the locker room. I'm not quite surprised that they got a little spat here in the ring. It's Hanaya's own fault. She could have put her away about five minutes ago and didn't allow it to happen. Hey, but we saw a very, situ very serious situation develop between these two. Cherry Bomb was letting the world know, the public that adored her, adores her know, exactly what she was, what her goals here. Denim Pants, Leva Bates decided to get in her face and say very mean-spirited comments about Canada's greatest import. Who adores her? I do, Pepper Parks, the fans in attendance, the fans watching at home, the fans that just Google image her. Oh, man! Let's see what happens when you raise the ire of Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb is as vicious as she is beautiful. She's the Regina George of this company. That's pretty sad that you know that. I was just about to say that. Well, I, I could bust out my knowledge of um, that Drama Queen's confession movie, but I'm not going to name the characters there because I'll be made fun of, bullied. What? Break her glasses. She just said a blasphemous thing and did a blasphemous thing. Well, that, also blasphemous. That did kind of hurt me a little Testify, bit. Testify, Cherry Bomb. No. That was a gore. I don't think that's Dudley related. No, nah, it's close enough. 3D press. And now battling, battling off. Cherry Bomb, Cherry Bomb really on my nerves. I feel bad for Pepper Parks when he gets an argument with his wife. The Dusty oh, Boy, oh. the Dusty Boy elbow. That bionic elbow. Cherry Bomb is staggered. She just got hit in the second best part of her body, her brain. Nope. Third, oh. you're right. Watch oh, it. Man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Atomic Bomb. Cherry Bomb is out of it. This could be it for Cherry Bomb. Only getting a two count, though. Leva Bates busting out all those Bubba-related maneuvers. I think she's going for a what's up drop. Yep. Oh, man, that'd be a great what's up. Cherry, I think she very much underestimated. Oh, she missed it, though. Look at the resilience of Cherry Bomb. Look at Cherry Bomb's face right now. She is thrilled at the mistake that Leva Bates just made, and she's capitalizing on it. Not only is she assaulting her physically, but verbally assaulting her as she goes on the attack There's of Leva Bates. There's people who would pay money for that. The referee that's not condoning this right now is one of them. Yeah, I feel free. And I can hear it all the way over here, and I got earmuffs on.
What we can all understand right now is just how dangerous Cherry Bomb is, just how focused she is on her career right now. Cherry Bomb very pleased with herself, but she's not careful. Leva's gonna catch her again. Hey, Leva Bates can fight from the bottom. Oh, oh man. man, anything Cherry Bomb dishes out, I think she can handle, to be honest with you. Only getting a two count there, going for the cover again, but once again, only getting a two count. But Cherry Bomb, she made sure to go for a cover once again, trying to catch Leva off guard. Well, the crowd is chanting, we want tables, and we know what's coming up later tonight. I just want bombs. That's all I want right now. I'm surprised Pepper has to smack the hell out of you yet. He loves me. Oh, so it's that kind of relationship? Oh, look at that. The force behind that elbow smash. He wishes. And Cherry Bomb, though, looking well here. as She goes to the cover. One, two, and only getting a two count once again. Leva Bates. Keeping this match alive. Cherry Bomb, though, you see it's starting to frustrate her a little. Starting to send her usually well-balanced mind off kilter a little. Going for a cover here, only getting a two count. Oh, look at this. Impressive offense here from Leva Bates. She's got the head scissors and a cross arm breaker. For, going for the arm breaker right underneath the armpit right now. Extra leverage, actually, on all the joints, the elbow and the wrist, in fact. Cherry Bomb might be ready to tap out here. How long can Cherry Bomb hold on this? She's dead center in the ring. She might have a little bit of a leverage advantage, as you see there. Oh, up into a cover here. Ooh, only getting a two count. Cherry, I think, is a little surprised by the offense of Miss Bates. Oliva Bates going to work on Cherry Bomb now. Or would it be Bates Dudley? No, it's denim pants, though. Uh, yeah, didn't you hear me earlier? Cherry Bomb right now, though, not letting Bates get any sustained momentum. Just eyeing her up right now for that drop kick in the corner. God, the viciousness in the eyes of Cherry Bomb. Compressing the spine completely, top of the neck, under the turnbuckle, feet right into the posterior. We got a cover here. Look at the leg again, this one, be two. It. Only a two count. Cherry Bomb now starting to get more and more irate as Leva Bates refuses to stay down here. But the more irate she gets, the more she opens herself up to make a mistake and for Bates to be able to capitalize. Oh! Okay, how was that legal? It, it was above the belt. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I think Bates learned a little too much from the antics of those Dudleys. Oh, kicks off Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb, though, not kicked with enough force to go into the guardrail. What is Leva Bates? Oh, oh, man, that Russian leg sweep. Still got her spine, though. Yeah. I think it took a little bit out of, out of both of them. Yeah, both their spines, I think, hit that ring apron. Yeah, but Leva Bates training, the men who trained her, high risk, high reward. Sometimes you got to give a little to get a lot. Shut up! Cherry Bomb, even in pain. Even in agony, still takes time to point out the flaws and what the haters are saying. That's, that's the problem. She's too busy worrying about the haters. There's not many of them, so she's got to shut them down. And both women now struggling to get in that ring, beat, beating that 10 count. Both women now back into the ring. Cherry Bomb goes for a wild right, but gets caught. Now chopping away is Leva Bates. She's got some padding. Oh, the damage is done though. Double chopping. High kicking. Leva Bates now. Firing away on Cherry Bomb. She's going to break Cherry Bomb's winning streak if she keeps this up. And here she goes. Head full of steam. Coming in and crashing down on Cherry Bomb. Hooking the waist. Northern Light suplex. That could be it. Cherry Bomb. Not only great strength by Leva Bates, great, great neck conditioning, and she's gonna follow it up with a big maneuver. I think I know what she's calling for. Pounding away on Cherry Bomb, goes to whip her off the ropes, reversal. Looks like up and over. A leapfrog, literally. Tremendous agility, now she's gotten her reverse inverted DDT. 
That could be it here. She goes for the cover, hooking that leg. And th oh. Almost breaking Cherry Bomb's winning streak. And Leva Bates isn't done yet. Using all her force with that drop kick to send Cherry in the corner. Cherry not a good, not looking good right now. As Leva Bates, look at this. Oh no, look at that. Cherry Bomb once again. Finding an opening, taking advantage of it. This, the fans are not liking this now as Leva Bates is not in a good way. Cherry Bomb. Oh, man! That leap up drop kick right to the side of the head, and Leva Bates looks knocked out cold. Cherry Bomb now pulling Leva Bates into position, going for that cover. This could be it. Hooking both the arm and the leg, two in him. Leva Bates, pure instinct there. Getting that shoulder up before three. She's still sticking with it. She's still staying in this matchup. Let a fire under her career once again, and she doesn't want it to be put out by Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb coming from the second row. Oh, oh, man! Out of nowhere! I guess that's 2D. I guess three if you count Cherry. Now cover, grips the arm, one, two. Once again, Cherry Bomb getting that shoulder up before three. What else is Leva Bates gonna be able to bust out to try to put away Cherry Bomb? Cherry. Oh, oh, there it is, the best super kick ever. And Leva Bates is done. That's a second blow to the side of the head she's taking, and that's, oh, no. What? What? Leva Bates' head is taking a beating. There's no way she's fully conscious right now. This is what Cherry Bomb is doing. She's gearing it up for it again. Cherry rare and ready to go. Once again, no. Oh, oh man. no, WSE, worst super kick ever. The second one, it must be not that great. As Cherry Bomb hasn't gone down. Oh, come oh, on, man. Worse. Now that was the worst one. I wish she got, did get hit. No! Oh, man. Even top of the first one she hit. Two and three. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Cherry Bomb. And the streak continues for Cherry Bomb. This is gonna catapult Cherry Bomb even higher. Her career is gonna reach new heights. I expect to see her in magazines soon. She should have been in the Sports Illustrated film of the year. Instead of Ronda Rousey, she is the premier woman athlete in the world today. Yeah, I'm late, stay out late at night and spend though. But you know that I know it ain't no place like home. And home is where my heart is at. I got you back. You hard time when I felt you picked me up and put me back on track. I always count on you. I know I can. You respect me and accept me for the man that I am. And I know it's not easy. Put up my bullshit. But I guess if you love me so much, it worth that bullshit. No matter what, you'll always get the best of me. You're the really God has taken from me, baby. You're my destiny. You're my back.
looking to impress. Very impressive outing by both ladies. Oh, and Angie Sky just crushes Angelus Lane with those double knees in the corner. Lane taking down her opponent with that side slam. Wasting time though, she went right to the pin, not really sure what her MO is. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth there. Definitely cost her the victory, but not going for that cover right away. Both women look tough as nails here, exchanging forearm shivers. Oh! Angela Lane taking the low road, just driving Angie Sky into the corner with her shoulder. Look at her adding ex extra pressure, holding on to that turnbuckle. she's doing, but the cockiness, that's definitely not going to work about winning the fans over. Does not look good at all. Jamming up her neck. Compacting the spine as well. Got her by the hair. And brings her down to the canvas. Not wasting any time there. Big time headbutt. Out of Angela Lane now goes downstairs. She's just vicious on her attacks. Striking all over the place, but Angie Sky not to be outdone. Returning the favor. Oh! Look at this. Right in the chest. That's, that's a thing now. This <laughs> lane comes running in. Big back elbow. Right to the side of the head of Angie Sky. Telegraph that Northern Light suplex. Still able to connect with that. Just one second away from being victorious here. This guy kicking out before three, definitely showing the heart and determination in this match right now as Lane has been relentless on her attacks, but there's Sky taking out there. Lane into a cover here. One, only a one count. Angela Lane seeking a little bit of distance from Angie Sky, but she might not be in the best position. Yeah, trying to retreat on the outside, but she did not get to the floor. There's no safe spot here in the skate zone. Swinging wildly. Not go far enough. What? This might have been within uh, her plan here. Well, yeah, this is her not good. The midsection of of Sky completely exposed here. Uh, look at the vicious side of Lane. The kicks. Look at that look in her face. Absolutely evil intentions on her mind right now. But again, taking way too long, and that's not how you're gonna win matches. Very arrogant cover. No need for that. You disrespectful little bitch. And Angela Slane calling Andy Sky disrespectful after that pin attempt. I, uh, I think she's calling more than just disrespectful. No. Oh! Got her down to a knee. <laughs> Trying to kick a hole right into her. Angel of Death, ascending to the heavens here in Voorhees, New Jersey. Definitely has something in mind here. Uh, 
Oh, she's got her caught. She's going to go for a tornado oh, DDT. Oh, no. But oh, Angela's no. Lane. Look at the strength of Lane here. Oh, huge spine buster. Oh, just dumps her down. And that's got it once again, only a one count. Angela Slane can't believe it. She's got a look of shock on her face. Oh, forearms from Sky backing up Lane. And once again, like you said, bad ring positioning. Oh, and now a bad mouth full of teeth. Perhaps some are broken. Does WSU have a dental? She's got her hooked up here. Oh! Just drives her face first into the mat. This could be it. Modified peak there into a cover. Only a two count. I was getting ready to announce Angela's lane as a winner. And she has thrown everything at Sky, and Sky has just kicked out of it all. The heart and determination in this match, this uncensored opportunity. On Dude, the main stage. Now. She keeps wasting so much time arguing with the official. Now, what is he going to do? Oh, you know, you're right, Angela Slane. Like, I counted wrong. You win. It doesn't work like that. Very unique variation of the ace crusher. She might be knocked out. Two and only a two count. Both women not having any quit in them. Angela's defiantly kicking out of that pin attempt. Look at the strength of Lane once again. Oh, wait, this guy reversing it. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Kamikaze. Into a cover. That's got to be it. Two and three. Sounding underway with our next matchup. We saw Jenny Rose taking Brittany under her wing. Unfortunately, Brittany fell short to the alpha female at Secret Show number three. When Jenny Rose tried her hand at fighting the alpha female, she certainly had her hands full as well. So perhaps the best lesson that she can teach Brittany tonight is going to be in the ring, Absolutely. going one on one against her. A little bit of teacher versus student, perhaps a final lesson. Sure. But then again, you could never get too much training. Obviously, Jenny Rose has had extensive tours of Japan. Oh, she rolls right out of that hammerlock, goes into almost one of her own, but goes for the front chancery instead. Gotta think that from this position, Jenny Rose is gonna be able to find a somewhat easy counter. And she and does. She's so unexpectedly going after the leg. And right there, immediately going to a half crab. We have a submission predicament. This match could be over before it, before it really gets underway. Brayton is struggling to get to the ropes. She's crawling her way to that bottom rope right near us. Got her. There, there it is. And Jenny Rose, respect for her opponent, breaking the hold at the one count. I'm just going to wonder if she had that hold even applied to do maximum damage. 
Maybe it was just the show her yes, student sir. what can happen if she's not paying attention. Sure. Oh, take a look oh, at that. Yeah, Jenny Rose perhaps not paying attention. You got caught with that flying crossbody off the ropes. And using all of her weight to her advantage, coming down hard on her opponent's chest. Still not enough. She's not the biggest competitor in there, but she uses it all to try to drive the wind out of Jenny Rose, but Jenny Rose is just too strong. She holds her up there in that body slam. And that's where you can see the Japanese influence, that Joshi influence. Yeah. A very unique way of doing those body slams, the way that the head is hooked, just to drive your opponent down a much, a much more drastic angle. Jenny Rose comes in, head of oh. steam, clothesline right in the corner. Pulling her back out, not wasting any time. Brings her up. Oh, just to bring her back down. Brittany writhing in pain on the mat. It's Jenny Rose connected with a number of strikes. Once again, going after the legs. And this time, stepping over the calves. Oh, that's an interesting way to put this maneuver on. You don't really see a sur the surfboard applied in this way. And this way, the legs are trapped, but all of the pressure being applied on the shoulders. How about the knees, too? The knees are just being driven right into the mat. And now pulling underneath the chin. Putting a lot of torque on that back, too. Brady doing the best she can to fight it off, but she's going to have to find a counter. She's going to be giving it up. Oh, just sent face first. The Jenny Rose gives up on the hold. Perhaps something else in mind. Kicks her right in that arm. Now head first in that turnbuckle. Jenny Rose just nailing her right in the chest. Of course, this is Brittany. I believe this is only her third ever professional match. She had competed against Alpha Female at Secret Show number three. I believe she had a match with uh, Kimberly for Excite Wrestling up in New York a couple weeks ago. And I'll give Brittany credit. She was able to find a counter right in that sunset flip. But Jenny Rose quick to kick out. She also saw action that uncensored. Oh! Signature offense, the twisting side slam, but Brittany's still kicking out. I think that Jenny Rose had goaded Brittany into perhaps looking for flying head scissors, but she had that counter. Now going for a German suplex, Brittany rolling through. She got the legs hooked. And even with Jenny Rose stacked up, still able to kick out. Could have been a huge upset for Brittany here. Taking Jenny Rose down with a one foot drop kick. And again, taking Jenny Rose off her feet. She's right on target with those drop kicks too, right square in the middle of the chest. And instead of going for the pin, going to the high rent district. Brittany scaling to that top rope. Is she able to find her footing? Oh, she's up there. She's poised right up. Oh, caught her with that top rope drop kick. Jenny Rose is folded up. And look at that, just able to kick out in the nick of time but favor in the back of her head. I think Brittany's given Jenny Rose a bit of a tougher fight than Jenny Rose had anticipated. One well-placed boot to the midsection could stop all of that. Oh, what's this? Oh, drove her right in her face. That's good night, Brittany. Brittany. Well, winner of the match, Jenny Rose. I can't say that I'm surprised by the outcome, but what I am surprised to see in the progress of Brittany, she's really coming along. Really solid effort. And Jenny Rose showing respect to her opponent, who obviously... Yeah. Sassy Stephanie competing by herself while Allison Kay tears it up in Japan against Cherry Lane, someone who's looking to earn a full-time spot. Not too familiar with uh, Cherry Lane. But it will be a pleasure to see her wrestle for the first time. Miss Sassy Stephanie, I have uh, seen a few times actually in Beyond Wrestling. Uh, also held her own against the gentleman. Very innovative wrestler. Uh, very tough, too. I believe Cherry Lane, a competitor that started up here in the Northeast, she's since moved down to Florida to improve and increase her training. She's coming to visit home this weekend, and uh, that means putting the hurt on Sassy Stephanie, a reversal of the position. We see her with that half Nelson applied. That would be the, uh, the full Nelson right now. She got her stuck in the full Nelson. Stephanie's got to try to break that grip and work her way out of it. Ooh, a nice go behind there. A little switch, standing switch, using the hips for leverage. She's got her in a waist lock of her own. 
Cherry now doing a good job just, uh, trying to get back to her base. Steph staying right on top of her, trying to wheel her down. Switches back to a front chin lock. Front face lock, actually. I think so often we see sassy Stephanie competing as a tag team wrestler because she's so successful as a tag team wrestler. We forget how successful she is when it's one-on-one. -on -one. She, I mean, she can certainly go, obviously, going hold for hold with Cherry Lane right here. Cherry Lane with that waist lock applied. And very clever, that escape from sassy Stephanie. Going to the legs and now tying him up. He's got the Kamigatame hooked, reaching around almost like a bow and arrow stretch. Referee administering the count there. Almost a DQ. I should probably get this ready here. Sassy Stephanie really bending the rules to her advantage. And uh, not too keen on the uh, on the turnout here. Sassy Stephanie has never needed the support of the fans, though, in order to be successful. She can get it done on her own. Although some, yeah, sometimes, you know, later in the match, it helps to have the energy, being able to feed off the energy of the fans if they are in your corner. Right now, we get that drop kick to the base of the spine. And Sassy Stephanie kicking out it, too. But perhaps without those skates on her feet, not so quick to move around the ring as she would be a roller rink. Sassy Stephanie looking to send Cherry Lane into the corner. Cherry Lane cannot get out of the way. I would say so far the majority of this match has been Sassy Stephanie in the driver's seat. Now a kick to the thigh. That's the largest muscle in the body. That might be the largest bone kicking right in the back of the head. Looking for that knockout, trying to end things early. Hopefully the referee not being too gracious with his count there. Seems like he's got a little uh, little room, giving him a little more room to work than Chris Levin was back in the, uh, in the, in the opener that we saw here. Ooh, Cherry Lane just standing up, taking that punishment here. Now a series of boosts to the side of the head from Sassy Stephanie using the rope for leverage. Now putting arms her opponents behind the ropes so that she's got a clear target for that chest chop. And again, a double chop she calls for. Oh, she took too much time. And now we see Cherry Lane trying to fire back. She got those bigger targets right there. I see what you did there. But unfortunately, giving up that size advantage. She's taller, yeah. Yeah, not as much impact behind those strikes. She's gonna need to hit her, hit her harder if she wants to win this match. A reversal of the Irish whip. Able to get that sunset flip. Had the legs behind the arms there, hooked, missed the double leg Nelson. Yeah, Sassy Stephanie uh, bringing both of her knees together on, on her opponent's temple. <laughs> Cherry Lane popping back up, just to get kicked in the midsection. And then take it down with a backdrop suplex. One, two, and ooh, near fall. <laughs> Able to duck out of the way of the clothesline. <laughs> Cherry Lane just able to muster some offense of some kind here. Going for that bulldog again. Again driving her down on the mat, causing her to lose her balance and eat the canvas. Uh-oh, could it be? Going up top. Instead finding the second rope. Referee administering the count. What's she coming off with? Diving seated clothesline, could that be enough? She gets the cover, hooks it deep. Two, and oh, almost. Almost had her, hooked the leg and everything. <laughs> Sassy Stephanie just got her hooked up right here. Got that leg hooked. Clubbing her in the back now. Stephanie back to her feet. What should be looking for? Another kick to the back of the head. Lane just barely able to stay up here. Ooh, right down the back of the knee. That's got to be it right there. Instead, picking her up again. Oh, the kiss my sass. And that's going to spell it. The end for Cherry Lane.
here comes Hanaya, the Howling Hunters, who last time we saw her in a class TLC match against Athena, just leveling Athena after the matchup yeah, here. Very different side of Hanaya. Spirit champion Nia Barella now interjecting oh, herself in this. Well, I think we have our first round matchup starting a little impromptu, it just about. Hanaya and Athena were about to go at it, but Nia Barella, she wants to believe that this tournament is about her. She was the most recent Spirit champion being dethroned. Oh, and she's going for that cover quick cover. Here. Got a quick cover here. One, two, and oh, oh, only getting a one count actually. It's an, uh, um, Nia Barella is actually. Pretty much the reason Nevea had to vacate the championship. Nevea it was, it was well documented earlier this year. She had a knee injury, and at the last match, Nia Brella viciously assaulted that knee throughout the entire match. And even though Nevea came up with the victory, she went to the doctors later on, and it was obviously the damage had already been done. And right now, some more damage is being done to Athena as Barella is viciously assaulting Athena. The same woman who went through a hellacious TLC match last time out. The match Athena is going to feel forever, but Nia Barella is going to feel that that emotion of disappointment of losing the championship forever at, eighth, at the eighth anniversary. Unless tonight she can advance to the semifinals. Nia Barella might have lost the battle at the eighth anniversary, but she might have won the war. Putting out. Novea for an un undetermined amount of time. And she goes straight to the outside, courtesy of Athena. Well, what we saw last, but last time out, Athena's not afraid to go a little aerial, and she's going aerial on Naya Barella. And she's looking to go for a second suicide dive, quite possibly. Doubling it up right on top of Naya Barella, Athena. I think that confrontation with Anaya just fired it up even more than she was going into tonight. Well, the fans are asking for one more time, and she's going to give it to them. Third time, taking at the former WSU Spirit Champion is Athena. A trio of suicide dives. Athena wants to get, wants to advance in this tournament. She wants revenge on Hanaya. Oh, go oh, but look at Anaya caught it. Oh, catch her in the in the ring apron there, and look at that stiff kick right to the nose. And now following up with some more kicks to the chest and the nose. Naya Barella is vicious, as we've seen, and she is the reason, once again, I'm going to say it, the reason why Nevea is no longer the Spirit Champion. Both athletes are bringing the intensity this afternoon. So much that Spirit Five. Championship means. Six. Right now, it looks like Naya is quite possibly going to earn herself a spot on that card here right now as she's looking to apply that surfboard to Athena. Naya, 
Nia Barella now stretching out each and every ligament of Athena with that Rita Romero special. Athena might have no choice but to tap out if she stays in this move for any extended period of time. Nia's known to yank back on that head and slingshot him forward, and if she does that, it could spell the end for Athena. Oh, Nia's head, excuse me, shoulders were on the mat, forcing the, the hold to be broken. And that's the dangers of applying that hold. You're pinning yourself. Right now, she's wasting a little too much time arguing with Papa Georgia. Gets caught with a kick. Kick to the midsection. Oh, oh that huge belly to belly suplex. And dumped her over her head, too. Man, Nia is possessed. She wants that spirit championship back. Even more unpleasant landing for the overhead belly to belly suplex. A, a trio of them. And Nia Barella going straight to the hair this time. Not letting Athena any rest. We've never really seen Athena be, be handled like this. Nia is just tossing her around like a rag doll right now. Snap suplex by Nia Barella. It was that shot she got in during the, the stare down between Hanaya and Athena. We got a cover here. One count, two count. And she's gonna get out before a three count. We really shouldn't be too surprised as Nia has trained under the Samoan dynasty. And those Samoans are heavy hitters and she learned everything she knows in the squared circle from that dynasty. And look at how vicious she is right now. Guerrero style eye rake with the sole of the boot. And look at it. Look at Nia. She's making sure Athena can't get back to her feet. There's that speed. Oh man! There's that agility of Athena bringing her over. Talking the clothesline, springboard, tornado DDT. Didn't get all of her, but got enough of her. But she's unable to follow up because of the way she landed on her knees doing that springboard tornado DDT. Whoever gets to their feet first is going to get the distinct advantage here. Nia Burrell up to her feet first. Athena soon following after, missing with the clothesline, but nailing that back elbow. Burrell blocking the back elbow again. Look Double at underhook. She's going for that double arm DDT. Athena able to escape. Oh, oh man. my God! Catch her with a gigantic kick right to the face. Into a cover here. That's got to be it. Oh, Burrell kicking out before three. Both women have been through quite the battle so far in this matchup here, here in the early goings even, of this tournament, the opening matchup. Oh man, Athena's neck just collided with that middle rope. Nia Barella using the leverage to her advantage and showing the fact that she's not afraid to stretch the rules. That's what brought her her first championship, stretching the rules. Yeah, she's stretching rules about just about everything in her career here. Huge spine buster immediately going for the cover too. That could be it, but once again, Athena showing the heart and determination to be a spirit champion. And give Barella all the credit in the world. She's the one going for the constant cover. She's the one trying to put away Athena. She knows what's at stake. Athena's got her mind scattered all over the place between this tournament and Hanaya. Barella now placing Athena up to the top, looking to put her away with something devastating. And now just raining out with those strikes to the face. Burrell's taking a little too long setting up on this. Oh, Athena just shoves her off. And oh, able could to it be? On. Could this be here? This could spell the end for Barella in the title tournament. Oh, face! face. Oh, huge old face! That is definitely it. One, two, and three. Athena moving on to the semifinals. Barella is still out of it after that gigantic O face by Athena. When Nia comes to, she is not going to be happy to find out she lost in the first round of the Spirit Championship tournament. In her mind, she should have just been reawarded the championship after Nevea was taken out by her.
CrossFit champion. Oh, well, we still don't know the name of this competitor, but Cherry Bomb's mystery opponent, this debuting athlete, great speed, high impact kicks, working over the quads. Was able to take her down just in the earlier moments of this match, and with the snapmare, this, this girl can go. Wow, flipping senton, what height on that? Great height. I gotta, I gotta get with MLJ, I gotta try and find out this competitor's name. Wiki it. Oh man, hard impact with that kick in the corner. Not letting up is this new competitor. Springboard, Cherry Bomb evades it. Coming back with a hooking Larry of her loan as she tries, tries to regain control of this one. Hooking a leg, nothing right there, one count only. From the early goings of this one, the way this woman wrestles, Cherry Bomb might want to ground her as soon as possible. Real hair. Driving the head into the turnbuckle. Powerful. Using her yoga training to get that leg high into the air and choke this mysterious woman in the corner. Cherry Bomb now. Talking to the referee as she was like, just triumphed by this mystery woman. Did you find anything yeah, out? Yeah, sorry to leave you hanging. I just spoke with MLJ. There's got more information than me. She said this competitor goes by the name of Hanaya. 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 Well, she was in control for a while, but Cherry Bomb, though, very aggressive in this contest. Uh, I mean, she's got some moves, but unfortunately, I don't think that she lacks that veteran know-how of a competitor like Cherry Bomb, who has literally traveled the world on her wrestling ability. So, oh. exactly. She's gotten some big gigs in this business right now, this sport. She's laying it in right now to this new athlete, Hainea. Hanaya. Hanaya, I'm sorry. Now choking away at Hanaya. Cherry Bomb using leverage on that one, using the five count to her advantage. I don't really know if this referee has the guts to disqualify any of these ladies. Here we see Hanaya once again going back to that kick, trying to knot up the largest muscle in Cherry Bomb's body in that leg. But before she can really mount a comeback, we see Cherry Bomb with a flurry of forearms. Oh, and a kick of her own. One shot did the trick. Is that going to be enough right here? She's got her stacked up. Only a two count. Cherry Bomb shocked right now. She does not know really how to fend off. Well, how do you prepare for a competitor? I mean, that, that's, that's part of the, the, the drawback of issuing an open challenge, especially, you know, issuing a challenge to anybody on the roster. Hanaya's never competed here before. That's why I said earlier, like, from the first minute of the match, we saw this new lady. She seems like she has great aerial skills and speed. That's why Cherry Bomb has to ground her. Until she figures out a game plan. Uh-oh. Well, I think Cherry Bomb, look at that cattle mutilation nope. right there. Grass-fed beef lock when she does it. Whatever you want to call it's her I'm lifestyle. Call it effective. It, exactly. It's very difficult to maintain this hold right here, though. Why is she tapping? And Cherry Bomb, maybe a little bit frustrated that this opponent's given her more of a fight than she anticipated, giving up on the hold. Come on. The new lady she just throw the match. Cherry Bomb recently married. Give her a wedding gift. Oh, and I just getting driven by the throat the back corner. And that's the violent side of Cherry Bomb. You know, she's beautiful, she's very kind, she has a dog follow her around everywhere. And she does have quite a temper, too. Get now I'm just sending Hanaya pillar to post. Get up, where are you going? Get your head up. And Hanaya, I think, looking for some separation on the floor, but instead, Cherry Bomb, with a handful of hair. We've seen her utilize this maneuver before, attacking the bottom of the spine and driving her neck. Oh! Back of her neck, right into that turnbuckle. Not much give. I tell you what, you do damage to the neck, that's gonna hurt the strength in all of your limbs. But if Hanaya's looking to connect with some of those high-flying maneuvers, I mean, you know, in order to springboard, not only do you need to jump, you gotta have that upper body strength to pull yourself up to the hole. And so far, I mean, exactly. Hanaya, and, and the thing is, this is the first time we've seen Hanaya compete. We don't know how resilient she is. If Hanaya goes up in the air, you know, your body follows your head. If she tries anything, and she can't get her neck up there, she can crash and burn very easily. Cherry Bomb, very methodical. Talking some shit before chopping right in the chest. Wow. Now calling for that knee. Yeah. Just took too much time right there. Hanaya's out of the way, and this is Hanaya's big opportunity. Oh, great elevation on the drop kick. Jim Brunzel like height. 
Caught her again. Right in the face. And now that spin kick lands on her feet. What a combination out of Hanaya. Can't put Cherry Bomb away. Hanaya totally showing off her athleticism in this one, but she has to put Cherry Bomb away early, or soon, I should say. She's looking to pick her opponent off the mat. That could have been a rookie mistake. If your opponent's already down on the mat, leave him there. I see that Cherry Bomb kicked her in the head, going for that super kick. Hanaya's out of the way, using that quickness to her advantage. Caught her with two knees right to the face. Cherry Bomb staggering onto the ropes. Hanaya looking to go sky high right now. Oh. Oh. Caught her with that moonsault body block. One, two, three. Wow. And that's going to be considered an upset. What a debut. I think she caught Cherry Bomb off guard right there, but that's going to be a very impressive, one of the biggest debuts we have ever seen here. This is certainly the dangers of an open challenge. You don't know who's going to accept, and tonight it backfired on Cherry Bomb. And I mean, Cherry Bomb, a great competitor in her own right, but when you issue an open challenge like that, it makes it very difficult to prepare for a competitor on the roster, never mind somebody that we've never seen before. Who got this guy in here? 